Hi, everybody. Rob Schlachter again, and I am absolutely thrilled in our member spotlight today to be joined by the folks behind the scenes who put this production on. It's my pleasure to welcome Ryan Maliar, who is the executive director of WMCT TV. I'm glad to get you out in front of the camera. You well, know, I'm in front of the camera all the time, but I'm not often in the hot seat. So it's a different experience for me. Well, I like having my notes and being the one doing the interrogation, but I, I'm in good hands here with <laughs> you, right. Rob. Well, I'm glad we uh, you know, finally got to talk a little bit about you being relatively new in position, even though time is moving quickly. So first things first. Tell us about where you came from and how you ended up here in WMCT. It's a long story, but I'll give you the, the nutshell version. And I got involved in the community television when I was a child um, in New Jersey, the local community television studio, PCTV, Piscataway Community Television. And I was on a show called Kids Corner, which was sort of like a Zoom, a kids news show. And I was hooked. I was hooked on performing. I was hooked on cameras and the technology. And I just took that forward with me through the rest of my life. I pursued musical theater and did a fair share of performing all over the world. And I somehow went, uh, wound up here in Massachusetts and I said, what am I going to do? And I've always carried this love of, of community television with me. And it just brought me right back into this wonderful little niche. And I couldn't be happier. Good. Well, I, for one, can tell you that the impact that uh, you have had with your staff has been immediate as witnessed by events and programming like this. So share with us a little bit about what your vision is for the cable TV station of Marlboro. You know, at its essence, we are a PEG channel, P-E-G, and that stands for public education and government programming. So our core function is always going to be government meetings and the transparency but behind all the city council meetings and the school committee meetings, those subcommittee meetings. The part that really motivates me is the public and education side of things, where this is a resource since the 80s, where people can learn how to create their own television programming, how to use cameras and editing tools with a very skilled staff. So what's been awesome to me is, is getting that momentum going again. We, to date, today, we have over 18 studio shows that film here in the studio on the set that we're on right now or, or our other larger set. And more than half of those are produced by community members or nonprofit organizations in the city. And I just want to see that continue to, to grow and right. see people get more involved. Well, that's, that's fantastic progress in a very short period of time. So um, what would you tell folks listening to this who are just made aware that they can utilize the local cable channel? How do they get engaged and what do they need to do? to get more information. You know, we're in a we're in a very interesting time where technology is so readily accessible. Everyone has an iPhone. They they can take wonderful video on. But the benefit of participating here is that you get to work with skilled people that are trained in this field that will show you whether you want to use your iPhone to create better home videos and and capture better photos of your of your own life and family moments or create something to support the community, we are here to continue to give you tools and resources to expand and become as knowledgeable and as skilled as, as you want to be. And ultimately, it feels good to support your community by telling these local stories. The big networks aren't coming to Marlboro all the time unless something exceptionally wonderful happens or exceptionally terrible happens. Mm -hmm. But there's so much in between that we get to capture. And the history of the city is, is really important as well. We are the archivists. We are part of a new historical society, almost in a way that these moments we're capturing, they don't just disappear. They are archived for the, the future. Right, right. So what, what do you think, what is the biggest misconception people have 
about a cable TV station like this? They often think that we are a government entity, that we are paid for by the city of Marlboro or by Marlboro Public Schools. And that's not the case at all. We are our own entity. Right. Well, personally and professionally, I wanted to thank you very much for your support of the Chamber of Commerce. Um, you have been uh, absolutely gracious with your time and your talent in getting some of the key stories, including some of the uh, very important nonprofits out there. And I'm glad we got you in front of the camera <laughs> finally to see why we're so excited about what you're doing and continue success in the future. It was Thanks. great having you on. Absolutely. But I'm not done yet. Oh, you're not because done. This Are you going to sing? No, no, no. maybe okay. later. But this right. is an example <laughs> of that perfect sort of collaboration that I dream about. A, a group like the Chamber of Commerce and you taking the reins to tell these stories that our small staff doesn't always have time to tell. You are constantly bringing in local businesses, entrepreneurs mm -hmm. in the tech industry, food, entertainment, representing a broad spectrum of all these businesses in Marlboro and giving them a time to be featured. Any resident who wants to continue on with that sort of mission to bring in local stories and tell the and and showcase people and, and friends and neighbors that they care about, this is the place that they can do it. So thank you, Rob, for taking the reins oh, with, pleasure. with Chamber Spotlight. And you can see why we are so thrilled. The energy is contagious and we look forward to a long lasting relationship with you guys. WMCCTTV. Thank you once again. Thanks, Rob.